Good morning, welcome back to the 120ist. For those of you who've been watching the channel for a little while and paying close attention, you will have noticed that just before Christmas, uh, everything went a bit quiet. And uh, that was because I was away with work. So I thought, well, this is great. On one of my, on one of the rest days out there, I can uh, take some photos and um, record a YouTube video. Long story short, four weeks later, the Ashika hadn't made it out of his bag. And the bag of film that I had uh, forgotten about had been through at least four airport scanners. And so I figured uh, it's already been through the scanners four times. Let's let it go through again. Uh, so it's been through another two times after that. So this bag of film has been subjected to at least six scans. And I will show you what's in there. So we've got a Pancro 400, Ilford FP4, Fuji Pro 400H. And that is a Lomo color negative 400. So as these films have been scanned uh, multiple times, I'm gonna go and shoot them and see if we mess them up. First film into the camera, 400 ISO, color negative, Fuji Pro 400H. There we go, right then. We're going for a walk, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a quick photo here. Climb over this style. I'm gonna get a photo of Cora as she climbs over. You've got, you've got puddle water all over your face. <laughs> uh, next up, 400 ISO black and white film, Burger Pancro 400. Another day, another film. Uh, I was just doing a job in West London, and so I have decided to stop in the beautiful town of Windsor. These are the uh, Queen's Swans. They don't seem quite keen on having their photo taken, actually. So I've got the um, uh, the 150 on, longer lens. Now what I'm going to be able to do, but well, let's try some stuff. Who's going to pose for me, eh? Who's it going to be? Let's come all the way down here, shall we? This one's a bit more of a long landscape. This is what we're seeing in here. Is chilly. The swan's ass sticking up there. He's not fussed at all, is he? Look at that. Want to see my ass? Go ahead. Okay, let's open this iris up a bit. Five, six, two, fifty. Here we go. It's these geese lining up here. I want to try and get down, right down onto their level. Let's see if I can do it. <sighs> Last frame. Typically, uh, the minute I've finished my roll, uh, they start feeding the birds. So there we go, that is um, a roll of 400 or so colour and a roll of 400 or so black and white shot. And the final film for this test, Lomography Colour Negative, 100 ISO. I'm out again with the uh, S2A this morning, this time with a roll of 100 ISO Lomo Colour Negative loaded. I want to see you know, if there's any difference between the effects of the scanners on um, 100 ISO film versus 400 ISO film. I'm having uh, one of those mornings where I have come out and just I feel completely lacking inspiration. I went into Dursley Town Centre um, and took these photos. I just stumbled across this place. Uh, it's called Breakheart Quarry. Let's bring out another one here. I'll right, go with that. Here we go. And I am again out of inspiration. Day three of the um, airport scanner testing. I'm out in uh, in Bristol this morning, just by the harbour side. 
It is a beautiful day, lovely low winter sun. So there we go. I think we can safely say that airport scanners don't have that much of an effect on films. The, all the signs often say that it's 1600 ISO or above that you need to be careful with. Uh, I didn't have any 1600 ISO or above film with me. 400 ISO was the, was the maximum, and I didn't see any negative effects from those films. Uh, there were some strange edges on that uh, color negative 100, but that is characteristic of, of light leaks for, through poor film handling. Um, so I probably didn't have it wound tight enough. I probably had it in slightly too bright conditions. Very unlikely to be anything to do with the scanners. As discussed, those films went through airport scanners six times. And I flew uh, Heathrow, Miami, San Jose, and then back the same way. I don't know what type of scanners they were. There is some talk on the internet about CT scanners being worse for films. I don't know. It's still not recommended to go putting your films through airport scanners. If you can encourage the, uh, the, the agents, the TSA guys or whatever it is, uh, to hand scan your films or just to give them you know, a visual check, uh, then that is definitely preferable because then you're, you're definitely not risking anything. But if you can't persuade them to do that, and let's face it, it's very hard to persuade pe those guys to do anything, then don't panic. You know, your, your films probably aren't going to get completely trashed uh, by passing through an airport scanner a couple of times. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed this one. Lots more stuff coming up on the channel, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Got some night shoots with the Bronica S2A. Uh, I've got some developer tests coming up. Um, some large format shoots. There's loads of stuff in the pipeline. Hit subscribe. Come along for the ride. Bye.